Good morning, YouTube from sunny Miami. This is Dre from Closet Go Round, and today I'm gonna take you with me to head to a Goodwill and Goodwill outlet that are located right next to each other here in Miami. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and welcome back. I'm a part-time reseller on Depop and Poshmark, and when I'm not thrifting, you can find me cheering on the sidelines as a third-year NFL cheerleader. Our first preseason game is this Friday, so I've been super busy with rehearsals, so I'm happy I have a little bit of time now to go to the thrift, and I'm going to take you along. Up until very recently, I was working my dream job in the music industry as a partnerships manager for the past five years. And before that, I've been working in corporate for 10 years. So I finally made the bold decision. I took a brave leap of faith and I'm now working as a freelancer, as a professional dancer, as a part-time reseller in Depop and Poshmark. And I also travel around the country as a dance competition judge, educating the future dancers of America. Today, I'll be taking you with me to my favorite Goodwill and Goodwill outlet. It's a killer combo because they're located right next to each other and it's less than 10 minutes away from my house. So I'm very excited to take you with me and see what we find. Let's go. Okay, I've entered the Goodwill and I just ran over here to the new racks. I always check out the new racks, especially at this Goodwill. I found some amazing brands like Zach Posen and countless other brands. And okay, first of all, I like this sage green slip dress looks promising but feels a bit like plt let's just see what that brand is okay even worse it's shein i like hate that i find fast fashion but it's honestly maybe a good thing that it's going here instead of landfills that's a pretty periwinkle color but i tend to stay away from zara at the thrift anything else good in here bunch of basic slacks and jeans okay nothing too good here but i'm not giving up hope yet next new rack let's go i'm at the top of the rack Live and direct here from Goodwill, Miami. Oh, this is a cute coquette top. I will grab this with me. Very cute. The dress section at this Goodwill is amazing. And before I get to it, I love checking out the wedding dresses and prom dresses that they store here. This one, I love the, the blue of this. The beading is gorgeous. I'm curious the brand. And $20, what a deal. It is Giovanni, an iconic prom dress maker. I wore Forever 21 and I just wish I could have worn a dress like this. Look how gorgeous these wedding dresses are. I love the top beading of that. It is so intricate and these are all under $50. Like, who is opposed to that? Look at the train on this. Just iconic. Look at this number. This is very salsa-esque. I love the mesh sheer detail on top. You can tell by the beading, this is definitely well made. I don't know this designer. It is so pretty. It has hook and eye clasps at the wrist. So, so pretty. Gonna grab this. Very salsa Latina flavor. Love it. Okay, now I'm at the start of the dress section. So there are rompers sprinkled in, and this is so cute. I love the zipper detail here. This reminds me very much of JLo from the 90s. Let's see this tag. Okay, this is definitely a 90s tag. I like the style. I am going to grab it and reevaluate for later. This multicolor floral, yes. Okay, this looks very interesting to me. I can tell this is probably silk. This has really pretty pink sequin detailing that's hard to see. And let's see this brand. It's pretty unique, haven't seen it before. Nicole Miller, it is 100% silk. My size, definitely grabbing. Any other goodies in here? I love finding denim jumpsuits in here. This is not my size, unfortunately, but it is Venus. I love Venus, great 90s brand, $15. Cute, I like the tie-up detail in the front. There's usually a hanger war here every time. Everything's all mumble jumbled up here. So I like to pull from the top to make sure I'm not missing anything. I like the fabric on this, the print. Ooh, vintage guess, so cute. But I'm not sure if I'm crazy about the cut. I mean, could be cute. It's light padding in it, open back. Good price, let's take it. The print on this is to die for, and I wish you could feel this through the camera, but it's like a very, it's like a cool material, but very, very soft. And it's halter. I love that O-ring detail. The vibrant colors are so cute. And this is hard to capture on camera, but this is a form-fitting bodycon jumpsuit, and it's a halter style. 
I don't know the brand tag, but it is worth taking to try on. This is so cute. This reminds me of Cinderella. This is probably like BCBG. So I knew it. It is BCBG. It is very pretty for prom or honestly Halloween if you want to be Cinderella. Cute. I love finding dresses like this that have a nude overlay with that black sheer on top. So it seems like it's a nude dress. I love it. It has this nice back zipper so I can tell... This is a well-made dress, and this is a cute 90s brand, connected. I like the pattern on this. Oh, this is by a brand I see all the time in Miami, Icon Swim, never heard of it. Marbled style, a little bit too trendy for me, so I will leave it. Okay, freaking out right now, I've never seen a sale sign at this Goodwill. This Goodwill is priced up more than other Goodwill, so that is good to see that dresses are 50% off. And I love this. This is so unique. I have seen dresses like this before, but with both straps. I love the floral print on this. This is an asymmetric maxi dress. No brand that I can see, but the colors on this is so vibrant. Very unique. Is it Robert Graham? Maybe it's just on a rubber gram hanger, but I can't find anything about it. I'll do my research on that. This is a pretty cottage core dress, jumpsuit. I like the Iolet detail. Oh, blue blush. I will stay away from this just because I don't like this brand. Had to show you this. It is so funny. It is so big. I don't know where you get this, first of all. Here's the tag. Never seen it before. I don't know where necessarily you'd wear this to. Maybe it's a good Halloween costume. Okay, this looks interesting. Very comfy, cozy, bucket list. I don't know this brand. These are the widest pair of culottes I've ever seen. I love this. Wow, I don't know if I've ever seen something this vintage on a hanger before at the thrift. Maybe you can find this more so at the bins, but never at a goodwill i mean it's gorgeous i love it very cottage core meets sailor this is very pretty too not necessarily my style i've seen this brand before but it's not ringing a bell where this is sold maybe it's a nordstrom brand <coughs> i love the ruffle detail here it's a perfect summer dress the sleeves are gorgeous very pretty love the side zipper enclosure detail i'll consider it love this green moment this is so pretty a phone this was prom so somebody could scoop it up maybe somebody will buy me buy it prematurely this is what i'm talking about i love when i find jumpsuits that are sprinkled in like this this is so pretty i'm so interested to see what brand this is it's very oh yes yes very well constructed Ooh, 20 though gotta think about it love the belt the utility style is amazing i am in love with the triangle logo on the back definitely gonna try that on Okay, pretty good dress section so far. Ooh, this is pretty. Very thick, ribbed cardigan, Ralph Lauren. And into the skirt section we go. This is very fairy, but for some reason I have something against Paisley. I don't know this brand. High Guard, it's probably like a Nordic Norwegian brand. Unless you know the brand, I don't know it, but I'm not crazy about the Paisley. Okay, there's a staff member taking out some new dresses this is intriguing to me what she's holding i want to take a look at this atina i don't know this brand at all it's like kind of pretty maybe it's the colors i'm not crazy about i can't tell is it cute i think i'm gonna leave it i know we're heading into fall but how cute is this butterfly print i love the pastel colors on this talbot's very cute but not my size so i will leave it Ooh, this is so cute. What is this? A Vintage Express. I love finding this tag. $7. How pretty is the orange against the pink? No material tag. All right, let's save it for later. How gorgeous is this too? This is like the ultimate fairy grunge moment. This is by, I don't know that tag, but it looks like Angie. Now, this is in the skirt section, but it seems like this could be doubled as a tube dress. Very pretty. Love it. How cute is this bikini bottom? I'm curious. I found this at the start of the rack. I kind of want to keep going and see if I find the matching top. I love the beading on this. Finding the top would be epic. 
Another pair of epic bottoms. I love the vibrant colors of this. Cute. This is two, just a bottom. I need to go find the matching top. Score. I found a vintage matching set that's actually together and I love the colorway. It is so Miami with that palm style print. Larry, I don't know it, but I love you, Larry. So cute. Okay, call me crazy. Am I a little cuckoo? Do you kind of love this or hate it? Is it like so cheaply made? I love the sequence on it. Don't know this brand. It's like kind of fabulous and fairy. This pair of pants fooled me from afar. Beautiful colorway until I looked at the tag. So sad. Okay, cart's kind of full. Got a lot of stuff in here. A lot of stuff I haven't showed you that I'm excited to show. This is the lingerie sleepwear section at the start of it. So let's see what we find here. Love these sheer bloomer styled shorts. I like the polka dot too, frill hem. Oh, but the tag, no way. She and got me again. How cute is this? I don't need it, but I love that it says Florida on it. It is a huge sleeper t-shirt. But this is definitely from like the 80s. I remember my mom used to wear these when I was a kid. It's very cute. And ooh, this is so cute too. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Maybe these are like collectibles items. How cute. Too big for me though. Oh, and this is adorable too. I love the sleepwear section. What a pretty print. I love these fuzzy XOXO shorts. This is one of my favorite vintage 90s brands. These are super comfy. They kind of remind me of like the Juicy or anything that's trendy on the written on the butt and these are so cute too these are like boxing shorts oh victoria's secret i have never seen these before i just went through my car and unfortunately i am not taking any of these items with me i'm trying to stay from pieces that i'm just not head over heels with this dress for example i already have something that's much better than that and it's also vintage cachet so i'm even gonna buy a lesser version of that dress so i'm gonna pass on that this too i was a bit too expensive for me today. This, I love the style of it, but because it's not silk or cotton or linen, I am going to pass. This I love, but there is a stain. This I loved too, but I just decided I'm probably never going to grab for this in my closet. And same with these items. This is a bit too out of style for me. This I decided the color I'm never going to gravitate to. It was a Wrangler shirt. This is something, too, that's a little bit too plain for me. This is a pair of Maeve pants that I maybe should look up, but I'm too lazy to look up, and I don't want to spend $12 on them. And these are a pair of BDG pants. The colors are a bit too clowny for me. This was a size 28, so they didn't end up being my size, which is why I had to pass. Otherwise, I probably would have gotten them. This color I think is so gorgeous. I love the rhinestone crystal detail, but I don't feel like storing it since it's not prom season and I don't have anywhere to wear it to. And then this coquette top is a little bit too plain for me. I was able to get that full overflowing cart to this little guy full of gems and I'm in the line of pay and I actually like the straw bag. This is very cute. Cute for the beach. And now I am taking you with me to the Goodwill outlet. And here you can see it is right next door to the regular Goodwill. That was a donation center in, in between. Good news, there's a lot of carts, so it's not too crowded today. Usually that's empty and you have to fight to get a cart from people paying. And here we go, let's see what we can find today. Where do they even make these shirts? I'm in the new bins and anytime I see crochet, I always want to grab it. This is very cute. It's in really good condition. Perfect to all white, spotless, very cute top. I love it. I am loving these new bins. I just found this black true religion hoodie. I love the worn in style. I am curious by this fur trim. It's a corduroy jacket and it is mud, which is exciting. Love a good mud piece. It seems to be in decent condition. Ooh, there is a mark here, but I will evaluate later. There's a first for everything. I have never found or seen apple bottom scrubs. <laughs> An interesting take on cargo pants. And I found this little cute black lace dress. Maybe I can recruit this little guy to pick some good items for me. I found this insane jacket. I'm sad that it's torn here on the side. It is so soft. It feels like rabbit fur. The inside lining is coming apart too. 
but I love the colors of this. It is so fab. Cannot believe I just found this racing long sleeve top with the patches. This is iconic. Love it. I'm so excited. I just saw these little rhinestones hanging out. This is a vintage BBY2K top. So cute. Love the black. Okay, just rummaging around here. Kind of junky in this section. It's not every day you have a good day at the bins. Ooh, this is exciting. This seems to be... I hope it's a maxi skirt. Yes, elastic waistband. Let me show this to you. Very pretty. Love the ruffled tears here. So cute. Here is my cart so far. I did just find this amazing fairy grunge skirt. This is by the brand Le Chateau. And it has an asymmetric hem. And I did find this insane yeah, pale yellow Mexican style dress. It has beautiful floral embroidery and I love that tag. Can't believe I found this at the bins. Okay, so they are making us get in line to pay or exit the building. This is so they can retain new bins. And I found this and I think this is so cute. I'll just make sure this is in good condition. Oh no. If this is what I think it is. Yes, it is. It is an Ecuador sports jersey. These sell like hotcakes for me, not just Ecuador, but really any country soccer jersey, football jersey. So that's amazing. I'm surprised somebody threw this back. And okay, nothing really else, but good find here. These are some of the items that I put in my cart that I am going to be leaving behind. I am leaving the mud jacket behind. I don't really want a store piece that I'm not crazy about. This is almost coastal in knit enough for me, but I don't like that yellow color. And there are some snags, so not worth for me getting another crochet piece. And then this little rhinestone cutie, but I'm gonna pass. And here are the final items at six pounds. 12.65, you can't beat it. And I found this cute netted bag too. Just got in the car, here are all the items. The blue bag is the regular Goodwill and the netted bag is from just now at the bins. So excited to show you a haul. Exciting, exciting stuff, people. So, sorry if you hear that tapping, that's Hunter, if he's in the frame. Hunter, say hi. Hunter, there he is. Oh, Hunter, there he is, good boy. Hi, Hunter. So he doesn't like getting his nails clipped, so that's why I hear a lot of tapping if, if I'm recording. Okay, so back to thrifting. I found really, really oh, amazing stuff. This is from the first Goodwill, and this is from the second Goodwill. So, or the Goodwill outlet. outlet. So starting off strong, I want to show you a brand that I was not familiar with until I looked up the label while at Goodwill. So this is an amazing, really nice material and pattern. I thought it was so beautiful. Tiered maxi skirt. And I love that the top section like doesn't have a frill so it lays nice and like flat around the waist. Hunter, so this is by a brand called Cara Cara. She is a New York City based designer and this, I forget the exact style name, but it retails for $4.25 and I got it for $8. So this is a size two, and a lot of her items are like gorgeous, um, like really pretty patterned maxi skirts and maxi dresses. I'll show some examples. So I was ecstatic to find this. I already posted it on my Poshmark and it's gotten activity, which is crazy because it's been up for maybe an hour. So I wanted to show you this. Pay attention for this brand, Cara Cara, if you're unfamiliar with it. Next up, I got this really cute robe so i think this is really cute for uh like stylistic purposes if you're going to a music festival i can picture like a black bralette or black bikini top with little biker shorts and you wear this styled over it it's giving very fern dresser vibes um she's a jersey icon or is she from jersey you know what i'm trying to say and it has this really cool ruffle detail and it has two front ties so happy to find this. I found this in the sleepwear section. This I was ecstatic to find. I never really find good vintage pieces at the thrift. So I freaked out when I saw this tag. So it says Aspen Sportswear. Just want to show you so you can see. It, it There it is. And this says size 15 slash 16. This is definitely perfect for a modern large. And it's this gorgeous like sailor blue 
southwestern Mexican style dress. It has beautiful ruffles and you can see this silver embellishment trim is a gorgeous and the ruffles on this skirt too are amazing. So yeah, this would fit a modern size L. This would look adorable with cowboy boots and this is perfect for a summer day or a transitional piece to wear from day to nighttime. Use your creativity, but I love this. It's definitely one of a kind piece. Next up, I found this dress. So this is a more formal wear dress, but I couldn't leave it behind. I saw it, actually this was um, already not in the dress section. So somebody pulled it aside, but decided not to take it. And it's hard to tell, but this is a gorgeous, really well-made dress with rock style beading here and rock style around the neck. It's very, very heavy duty. The lace here is really pretty. And this is by a brand called Meta. Cisneros and I looked this up in the thrift too and she is a Miami based like high fashion couture designer and also the details here are really amazing so it has these clasp details and same thing oh, on the wrist it's very elegant and it has this high low style um like hem and the back is a gorgeous open back so I had to get this. I love finding really well-made couture dresses. This is perfect for any formal wear occasion or if you have any weddings to go to. Honestly, with holidays being less than six months away, perfect holiday dress. I found this for my own personal collection. This does have a hole in it, but it was so perfect and so Miami. This is something I could easily patch up. So this is the front. It is a tube top bodycon dress and I love that open back style. This doesn't have a brand. Yeah, so this I'm not familiar with. It is called Chi, and it seems to be a UK brand. And this was $12, it was not on sale. A lot of the dresses were half off this day, which is crazy. Let me know if the Goodwills in your section do sale days. Sale days as in different from the color of the day, the tag day. My Goodwill will have signs saying, okay, dresses um, half off. This was the first time that I actually saw it. So that was really cool. So it does have a minor hole, but something I can patch up and I love the color. It is very Miami. Also, I found these very cute shorts. These are like fuzzy. I, I don't know the right term for this, but I love that it's vintage XOXO brand. This is a size medium and it kind of reminds me of like juicy couture bottoms and he's sort of like writing on the butt is very in. So wanted to get these found this dress gorgeous iconic very miami that's what i love thrifting about uh thrifting in miami there are really pieces that are super one of a kind and very summery that i was not finding back when i was living in new jersey and going to the bins in both uh queens and new jersey you just don't find pieces like this so here we have a beautiful maxi dress and it's actually a halter you can tie it up i guess you can wear it tied down too but this print is insane. I wanna show you the tag. It's by Body Central. So that's a classic 90s tag. And you can see how pretty and vibrant the print is. This is really perfect for any occasion, date night. This would be so cute with little black kitten heels and like a coach baguette. This doesn't capture as well on film, in my opinion, as it does on camera. This is a 100% silk Nicole Miller fairy dress and I love the floral pattern and it has really beautiful detail. You can see the pink sequins at the center of the flowers, which is just immaculate in my opinion. And it has that v-neck front and the back is open and you can tie here to adjust the tightness of the front. So I loved this so much. It is really gorgeous and it is a layered dress. This is a perfect summer dress, but it's also an amazing transitional piece as we head into fall. Just pair this with some combat boots and a black leather blazer or any color really, and you're good to go. I was so happy to find this dress as well. It doesn't have a tag and it was confusing for me at first to figure out what it was because I think it was hung weird on the hanger, but I saw that it was an asymmetric one shoulder maxi dress. The print is to die for. It's very vibrant. It needs to be ironed, but it is in perfect condition and it's almost like a daisy pattern. I figured out that this is the front, this is the back because it had the back seam and this fits like a modern small. It is really unique. You see a lot of these types of chiffon style dresses, but I have never seen a one shoulder style of it, which makes it very unique. I found some skirts. This one is so cute. It's a blue and white 
100% silk, if I could find a top. Ralph Lauren maxi skirt. Here we go. And I love the ruffle hem here too. It has a beautiful watercolor style floral print to it. And here's the tag so you can see. And this is layered as well. There is a white lining underneath, so it's not sheer. You're completely covered. And this is so pretty. This is a size large. I really love this. Same thing for summer. You can wear this with combat boots, a leather jacket, and it's a perfect fall piece. Two more skirts from this Goodwill. This is by Style & Co Collection. It is a 100% linen, kind of light lime green maxi skirt. I've spoken in other videos that I love finding green pieces. I think it is a very in color. Even when you go to the thrift, you can tell when it's separated by color. The least amount of items is always the green section. So I think a lot of people really like this color. This is a size 16 and this needs to be ironed as well, but has an adjustable drawstring here and two pockets. Another great transitional piece. And last up, I have this beautiful sarong. This is actually by Michael Kors and it's 100% silk. I love the colors of this. The fringe is so cute and this would be perfect for a vacation. I could so picture this with white kitten heels. I see a white crochet, like long sleeve top. This can be worn to the pool, to the beach, or even to dinner. So I really like this piece. That is everything that I got from the first Goodwill. And I have the receipt here. I spent $95.22, that's including tax. So $95 for all those items, pretty good in my opinion. And let's go through the bins haul. What's amazing is when I go to the outlet, I like finding a bag that I can put all my stuff in just to make it easier to carry out because they don't provide bags. How adorable is this amazing little knit bag? I coincidentally saw somebody else find this bag at the bins and apparently it's from Anthropology. I can't find any tags, but definitely going to keep this because we actually use netted bags to transport our palms to and from practice. It's just easier to keep them in a little bag like this versus our um, bags that we carry everything else in. So it's nice to keep it nice and separated. So I love the ombre color of that. That was a super great find. So to start, I found this vintage piece, which I love. I wanna show you this. So this is like a Mexican style Southwestern dress. And this is by, look how gorgeous this tag is. Please let me know if you have thrifted something like this before. Does that say El Encanto? I like that it says cotton. It is a gorgeous pale yellow color. It has beautiful floral embroidery. And I love that this is such a light, unique piece. Can't believe I found that in the bins. I also found quite a few skirts. So oh, here is the first one that I found. It needs to be ironed, but this is a 100% cotton tiered midi maxi skirt. And this is by the brand. This is a vintage tag. Unique, so you can see. I believe they were very popular in the 90s. There is a side zipper enclosure, but it does have a very elastic waistband. I would say this is perfect for a modern small slash medium. If you're about Barbie core, this is your skirt. Also found right next to it, this beautiful blue 100% cotton midi skirt as well. So very similar, it is the tiered bohemian style look. I would say this is also cottage core, and this honestly is a Barbie core color as well. Barbie core does not need to be pink, but any of those like bright blues and turquoises totally fit the bill too. And this is by Mountain of India elastic drawstring waistband, has some beautiful stretch to it in really nice condition. I found this beautiful floral 100% silk dress. And is this the front? Oh, here's the front. I love that it has that milkmaid style top. The hem on the bottom is very pretty. It's kind of fairy cottage-esque. The brand is by Robbie B. How cute. And this is a size 12. So I would say this is perfect for a larger medium or a small, smaller large. It does have a gorgeous back zipper and it is double lined, so it's not sheer. Have another skirt in the mix. This is another 100% cotton maxi skirt. This is by the brand Style & Co. I showed you them just a second ago. And this is a size extra large. Also lined with a white lining inside. I love the hippie style of this and it's very like watercolor, tie-dye, the colors are very cute. And this is also another perfect transitional piece. 
So I found really good skirts so far. I have another skirt. I can't believe I found all of these. So this needs to be ironed. This is very fairy grunge. It has an asymmetric hem. Is this the front? Yes. And this is by Le Chateau. This is a popular 90s brand and it is an extra, extra small. I would say fits more like a modern small. And you can see some detail here, which I love. This embroidery, I can't tell if it's a floral print, but it's really pretty. I like these uh, diagonal patchwork style print. And it does have some belt loops, so you can add your own like chain if you wanna do something droopy here. So yeah, I can't believe I found these at the bins. Um, I'd say I had a good binge trip. This too, I found another mini skirt. This is a little mini cottage core skirt. This has beautiful white hibiscus flowers that are embroidered or even like, I don't know if this is needlepoint. I don't know what type of embroidery this is, but it has a side zipper enclosure. And this is by the brand UNYX. And this is a modern small, very cute. I hope this picks up on camera because it doesn't look like much. It looks like a wrinkled mess. This is by the brand Rupees. So this is actually 100% rayon and I don't like to pick up rayon too much unless stylistically it's cute. So you can see here, it just needs to be ironed. It has really pretty muted embroidered flowers here and it goes through the entire dress this dress has leg slits, which is very cute. And here you can see a little bit better here, but I just thought this was a really pretty cottage core piece and it's perfect for layering. You can wear it as a standalone piece and also really good transitional piece for summer and going into fall. This was an essential pickup find for me. It is a rhinestone BB tank top. These were so popular in New Jersey, especially in middle school uh, when I was growing up. So this is very nostalgic for me. This is a size small and is in perfect condition. Picked up this top, which I thought was so cute and very local to Miami. And another reason why I love uh, thrifting in Miami, you find these very specific, specific Miami-based brands. This I've never seen before. It's water, what does it say? Water, water, everywhere, Miami. So I love the tag. This print is very cute. This also just needs to be ironed, but the colors on this are amazing. It reminds me of Hawaii actually. And it has a button enclosure. It's a button blouse with a collar, perfect to wear over a bikini to the beach, or even just with like denim Levi's. I think this would be really cute. I found this. I haven't picked up a Hooters tank top before, but I found a Hooters Pompano Beach. And I figured this would resell to a Florida girl um, on Depop. So I wanted to try it since I did get it from the bins. I got this tank top. This is a 100% silk Moda International, one of my favorite brands to thrift. This also needs to be ironed. It's <laughs> been crumpled in a ball. And it has a very pretty brown lace trim and adjustable straps. Very cute. Found, what is this? Oh yes, okay. Found this, it's called um, by a brand Malabar. It's a size medium. And this is a crochet knit top, which I really like. I like that it's white and it's basic. It can go with anything. Anything crochet in it at the thrift, especially the bins, I will always pick it up. It always resells very fast and has a lot of interest on both platforms for me. There is another crochet dress that I found. This is by Emery Park. Even though I'm not crazy about the brand, I thought the style was really cute. And it's like this midi bodycon style. And I really like the olive tones of this. Another perfect beach cover upper to wear as a standalone piece. So this I picked up, this was a Brandy Melville tunic top slash dress. This is the tag if you're unfamiliar with Brandy Melville. This is very popular, I'd say with 18 to 22 year olds. That is their main demographic. And once this is ironed, this would be really cute, but I remember this from back in the day. It was a very popular style dress and it has the ruffle um, style here and it's kind of like a pretty eggshell color. I found this bikini top. So I always look for the bottoms, but I did get this top because I thought it was really pretty. It is by the brand Yumi Kim. Yumi Kim, you can find, here's the tag. You can find sold on Revolve. And this is a cute bandeau style bikini top. I do wear this and I like that it has that crisscross front style detailing here with gold hardware. It's in really nice condition. It comes with cuffs, 
And the print is really unique. I like the floral print with the blue. The colors are super pretty. And you can just pair this with a white bottom. So you don't even really need the bottom. And last but not least, I found this 100% silk. This is by a brand called Taj, and I just thought this was another good vacation piece. It's a perfect dress and the beading on top. I love the detail. Comparing both trips, I would say I think my regular Goodwill, the items that I found at first were a bit stronger than the items that I found at the bins, even though I found some amazing skirts. I found 100% silk dress and some really nice items. So. All in all, I had a really good thrift trip. If you can like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate that so much as it helps so much with the algorithm. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.